Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners. My name is Bonnie Ernst. I am a resident of Oceano, California. This morning, we have seven members of the Oceano Beach Community Association here to speak. The plan is to work off one PowerPoint and this one computer. And I wanna thank the staff for helping with that. Since the gates were closed in late March and vehicles were banned, we have talked masked and socially distant to hundreds of people visiting our beach and dunes. Our intention was to make this presentation to state parks first, but that unfortunately hasn't occurred yet. But we do want to take this opportunity to present to the commission. Mainly focusing on the issues of Oceano, we call this document a new vision for the ODSVRA, a vision that transitions away from intensive, rep, intensive OHV use, affords a rich variety of camping and non-OHV recreational activities, protects the natural environment, boosts the local economy, provides environmental justice for Oceano, and complies with the Coastal Act. With the next slide, please. With the recent closure, it has become even more evident that the ODS ERA was never a park for all. The beach was dominated by large trucks, bulldozers, buses, cars, toy haulers, ATVs, and RVs. Next slide, please. The change is now obvious. Walkers, runners, kids, families, equestrians, surfers, seniors have returned to our now safe beach. With climate change, the trend is now for environmentally responsible recreation and travel. And please go to the next slide and Lucia will continue our presentation. Good morning, staffs and commissioners. Thank you for listening. So won't restart the clock. Yes, reset the clock, thank you. Even though I wish I could get two and 50 minutes, two, more than two minutes. Let us talk about Oceano. I have been a resident of Oceano for uh, 32 years. And while I have watched the neighboring communities uh, get richer, prettier. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I interrupt here? Um, Chair Padilla, this is Billy from AGP Video. And uh, this is an organized presentation. I'm not sure. I, is each person on this supposed to get two minutes? Yes, I signed up. Yeah, she signed up as an individual. She's got two minutes. Okay. No. no. All right. If you, I'm sorry for the interruption. No, uh, I, I, I understand perfectly. As I said, I have watched the, all the neighboring towns get rich and pretty and safe and clean, but I've watched the channel get poorer, poorer and uglier by the year. Oceano is a non-incorporated, low-income, disadvantaged community with a predominantly Hispanic population. We are governed by a county board of supervisors, and we rarely get a fair share. Our infrastructures are in general state of neglect. We have minimal and inadequate recreational opportunities, and that's because Oceano has been the doormat to the vehicular recreation area for too long. Next slide, please. Our very precious coastal zona is dominated by uses favoring the interests of non-residents over those of locals. We have a wastewater treatment plant that also serves neighboring communities. We have a 60-acre airport used primarily for private aircraft. We have a huge storage yard on the coastal zone for hundreds of RVs. And of course, we have vehicles on the beach that obstruct safe pedestrian use. Next slide, please. We are proposing a phased approach to camping and access for all, because we know that's important. But first of all, we need to close up Pier Avenue and Grand Avenue as a vehicular entrance or access to the beach. Please give our beach back to Oceano. We want to restore a traditional non-vehicular recreational beach uses. We want to expand and redesign off-beach parking. And we want to explore low impact camping options on the beach and camping options not on the beach. Please give Oceano its beach back. Thank you for listening. Next slide, next speaker, Charles. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Charles Barney. I'm a 20 year resident of Oceano. Um, we have large sections of land in Oceano 
be, uh, in our community that are controlled by the county and leased to operators that provide no tangible return or value to the community, um, we're sort of like a third world uh, community. Next, next slide, please. Um, the Oceano Airport, um, the RV storage, are all operations in the coastal zone that we get really no benefit from. Next slide, please. Um, and we do provide a lot of camping opportunities. On the far right of this slide, you see in the light blue Oceano um, campground um, and the campsites around in the Pismo State Park, and then the thousand additional on the, on the beach. And with vehicles off the beach, we are um, looking to expand camping opportunities, especially affordable ones for people that can't afford a $40,000 plus, um, you know, fifth wheeler or motor home, um, as well as additional RV parking areas. Next slide, please. Um, so you can see we have in South County a preponderance of, of camping opportunities compared to the North. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Um, our camping goals to expand the off-beach uh, off camping uh, possibilities, uh, more on-beach uh, possibilities, low impact, um, support uh, services for people that want, for humans on the beach, not off-road vehicles on the beach, and protecting the coastal environment. Next slide, please. Um, and these uh, additional opportunities um, at the Oceano State Park. Um, there's lots of room to expand there, and thank you very much. Hello, thank you for the opportunity to speak to you. My name is Katherine Schwinghammer. Uh, next slide, please. I would like to talk to you about camping. The Pismo State Beach Oceano Campground is bordered by Highway 1 and Pier Avenue in Oceano. It has a new kiosk entrance on Pier and a utility road entrance on Highway 1. The roads intersect and go to the beach. This is the entrance and exit State Parks has used during the COVID-19 closure. Next slide, please. We believe that there are many pros to reconfiguring the Oceano Campground. There appears to be space to expand and it has fairly new infrastructure in place. State parks would have more control over fee collection, trash, sewage, fires, and security. Next slide, please. Camping here involves no driving on the beach or crossing the creek. It provides an easy walk to the beach or to town, so this location could assist Oceano with much needed economic development. Campsites that are walking distance from the Oceano Business District, day use parking spots where people can walk to the beach, bicycle parking, this would benefit and encourage Oceano business and economic development. Next slide, please. Using prime coastal land, for equipment or junk storage is not acceptable. We recommend all non-essential equipment and staff be moved off-site to better utilize this area. Less equipment would likely be needed because OHV activity could be phased out. Parts of this area could be reconfigured to add additional campsites or day-use parking to, with paths to the beach. You, the utility road would remain the prime road access to the beach. Thank you for your time. Next speaker will be firm. Next slide. Good morning. Next slide, please. My name is Fern Godden and I'm an Oceano resident. Pacific Dunes RV and Ranch is privately owned by an LLC based in Chicago that has RVs and few cabins adjacent to the dunes preserve and expansion will be, need to be negotiated. Next slide, please. A variety of camping options could be provided for many people and, and different, different incomes. Next slide, please. Camping ideas here include yurts, tents, tent cabins, and tent platforms. Next slide, please. 
Glamping and retreats are both very popular and could serve a variety of interests. Highway 1 is a well-known bike route, so low-cost options would suit those and many other travelers. Next slide, please. Shuttles, similar to what was envisioned in the 1975 parks plan, bottom left, could be used for transportation. Horses, bikes, and walk-ins could be allowed all year round. Next slide, please. For many years, there have been too few income-generated concessions on Pier Avenue. What did exist was primarily OHV use. At least two OHV rental companies who consistently exceed staging limits cross a flowing creek and pushed county signage regulations to the limit. Pier Avenue currently has nine empty lots, and this is prime beachfront area. Thank you very much. And the next speaker is Mary. Good morning, my name is Mary Martin. I live in Oceano. Next slide. The COVID-19 closure has shown that there are many businesses to consider for concessions and income generation, including camping and fishing supplies, horseback riding rentals and shops for surfboards, wetsuits, boogie mm -hmm. boards, carts, sandboards, bikes, kites, and etc. Possibly even a recycling provider. Next slide. Virtual reality, OHV racing, and kiteboarding are just two of the more highly intensive sport options. The virtual reality idea came from one person who was doing it. Both activities would likely appeal to the next generation. Next slide. Virtual reality, OHV racing, oh, sorry. Uh, Building on the Dunite and Chumash history, the dunes could be a hub of retreat activity, including health and wellness, photography, birding, family reunions, weddings and cultural activities, STEM studies, and continuing education and fundraisers, such as beach runs. Next slide, please. Parking. With the COVID closure, the need for parking options has become very apparent. Suggestions include reconfigure the Pier Avenue kiosk area for handicap parking, equipment drop-off, and bike stands. Redesign Pier Avenue into a complete street with angled parking and bike lanes, adding parking at the campground as mentioned before, and transitioning the leased airport RV storage land to parking with a levee path to the beach. Thank you for listening. Thank you, and Eileen will speak next. Good morning, commissioners. Aline Villa, lifetime resident of Oceano, and very proud. Access, next slide, please. Accessibility for the disabled. State parks is falling short on assisting disabled access. Few people are aware of the beach wheelchair program. The wheelchair is kept in a box near the kiosk. The box is not clearly labeled and the wheelchair requires 24 hour notice to use. I noticed it about three months after going on a daily basis with my mother who uses the walker. Once I tried it, I found it extremely difficult to push in the sandy area. State parks can do so much better. Next slide, please. Accessibility improvements. Ideas include maps, boardwalk, and more accessible beach wheelchairs and walkers. A mat or boardwalk would make it so much easier for individuals on walkers who struggle on the sandy area, but walk fairly easy on the wet sand. My 89-year-old mother walks a mile on the wet sand with her walker. Next slide, please. Oceano has a rich Chumash and Dunite history, and we need to start prioritizing events that honor their arts and culture. We also need to designate days for Chumash cultural practices. Next slide, please. Change is hard, but in this case necessary. 
The old ways of the OTSVRA are not sustainable. COVID-19 has given us back our beach. So we urge you to consider the many possibilities that lie ahead. The time is now for creating new memories. The Oceano Beach Community Association thanks you for giving us the time for our presentation. And we invite you to come visit our beautiful Oceano Beach and Dunes. Thank you.